news tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. This system was subtly impactful. Not only did it produce two tornado warnings, luckily no damage here, but two tornado warnings, also flooding rains in Muskegon County, getting some reports in from viewers in the Whitehall area saying that there's some roads that are washed out, potentially some damage there from the flooding rain. Luckily, we're starting to finally see some of the showers move out of Muskegon County, but it's not even done yet. Looking live over Kalamazoo, still some ragged clouds, damp roads. We're expecting to see some areas of fog to form overnight tonight. And through the overnight time frame, we're likely going to continue to pick up a few scattered showers as our temperatures dip down into the upper 50s. So a lot of low-level moisture would not be impossible to see areas of fog, especially where our cloud deck tries to clear. Usually once the clouds depart, the fog replaces it at the surface. Rainfall totals past 24 hours quite high. Most locations at least a tenth of an inch and some closer to about a half an inch. That goes for Grand Rapids itself. Muskegon, by and large, the winner when it comes to rain. Almost too much of a good thing, especially because we have continued flood alerts through tomorrow morning. Visibility already dropping in some spots, but some of that is just the ongoing rain. Rainfall future cast shows that we could still see another tenth of an inch for spots in Muskegon County. Uh, close to about a quarter of an inch possible as we go overnight tonight for Kent County. And even through tomorrow morning, we could likely see more rain. The system is going to take its time moving out. Temperatures finally climbing to 61 by 9 in the morning. By the way, sunrise 733, sunset 733 p.m. So perfectly 12-hour daylight day. Future cast. Here's the system by 7 a.m. continuing to lift. Notice still some scattered showers for the morning. Even by noon, we could still be tracking rain near Kalamazoo. But gradually through the day, especially in the evening, we'll see some sunshine. And once the sunshine arrives, it sticks around. So Thursday and Friday looking very pleasant. Temperatures near 76, warmer than usual. And as for the weekend, we could actually see an impact from what's now Tropical Storm Helene. This is expected to become a major hurricane potentially before making landfall in Florida at one portion of the coastline and that will eventually be moving up towards us. Looks like some of the remnants Saturday, Sunday, Monday could produce some light scattered shower activity. We're not expecting huge soaking rains, but still another tropical system to impact West Michigan nonetheless. So 70s return, a lot more moisture returns. Again, poor Muskegon, almost too oh. much of a good thing uh, yeah. oh my over the last 24 hours of that flooding rain. A little bit. All right, Ellen, thank you.